Hello, hello, mi gente. It's your girl, Tori, indeed, and my special guest, Tata Mami, on Vibe to Vibe UN TV, where the vibe is real. What's up, girl? What's up? What's poppin'? <laughs> oh, my gosh. So I'm super excited to speak with you because, you know, we were kind of talking behind the scenes or whatnot, but um, we were talking about your sound and, you know, you as an artist. So uh, for those who don't know, Tata Mami is a musician. She's an artist who has that, hmm, we were just talking about that, that pop, that pop vibe. <laughs> yeah. But but I was watching your Instagram and I feel like um, you were doing those TikToks. Um, are they freestyles or like what was going on? I know you did this Pisces video. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, that was for like Woman Crush Wednesday. So, so yeah, you know, I mean, basically a lot of my, my music is like day to day, so. I was just crushing on someone that was a Pisces and I'm a Pisces. So I was just showing how it all flows together. Me being a Pisces, flirting oh, with another. <laughs> <laughs> Are you big on astrology? I am. I am big okay. on astrology. Well, happy sign? belated birthday. Thank you, thank you. I'm an Aries. My birthday's next week. <laughs> birthday. I love uh, Aries. <laughs> I know we're the best. No, I'm kidding. Thank you so much. No, no, I am definitely... <laughs> into astrology so that's a fun fact about you um that you're into astrology i could definitely appreciate that um so that's pretty cool <laughs> so tell me a little bit about you and how you got started with music well <clears throat> i've been doing music for as long as i can remember uh i was probably like six seven eight writing my own song writing uh verses for my little sisters and my little cousins and then making them uh perform with me in front of the rest of our family oh, okay yeah so i've been doing music as long as i can remember but the first time i ever really got in the studio i think i was like 17 ish i was in high school okay yeah a lot a lot i love that and the reason why i asked that question is because i've been doing this since i was a kid literally the same, the same scenario where I was just, I used to sing in the microphone, this play school, cassette player, recorder, interview everyone. And it's just like, it stuck with me, you know? And as I was 17, 18, I started pursuing it a little bit more serious. Um, so I definitely, um, I love that. You know, this was rooted, you know, it's something you've been doing since, since such, such a young age. Um, right. But I've and, always been like, about Right. I think that's pretty cool. And your siblings, you know, you used to do these songs for your siblings. So do you ever write, um, like, in inspired by them or motivated by them? By my siblings? Yeah. I mean, not my recent EP, but yeah, I'm always, <laughs> <laughs> I'm always super motivated by them because, of course, like, I only have uh, two brothers, but I have five sisters. So, and oh my I God, that's a big family. That's a lot of siblings. And then I come from a family that's like uh, predominantly like women. And it's like all about women empowerment and everything like that. So there's a lot of songs. Like I did uh, I did like a freestyle off of a, um, a beat about like self-love and empowerment. So I do a lot of music like that, uh, especially what I did for the protests last year when the protests broke out. And I did oh, wow. I know when I when I dropped that uh, little freestyle, I had so many people in my in my like DMs and my messenger because I dropped it on like different platforms, different social media platforms. So I got a lot of people like thanking me, telling me like it helped them get through get through their day or the hard time that they're in right now. So that alone was just like it, it feels so great to be able to bless people, even if it's just with words. Right. It's so powerful. That that definitely is powerful and meaningful. Um, I appreciate that. I think that's amazing. If it's if it's anything that I need that especially if I need to pay somebody, like the first thing I'm looking for is like a woman. A woman right. because honestly I feel like they do the best business with me because sometimes guys don't take you seriously because you're a woman. But when you have a woman doing business with another woman, it's like down to business, you know, like it's just like guys handling their efforts with oh. I've been in situations where I've been like discriminated against for being a woman or a Latina woman. So I definitely um, see like the opportunities and working with other women because we want, well, me personally, and I feel like you as well, like we want both success, not only for me and my whatever I'm working on to be successful, but also yourself 
tell me a little bit about like you as a writer at, at you know six seven years old versus you today as a writer what do you think is some of your major um improvements or growth um i mean well, first, you're a kid at that time too so <laughs> thank you lady this is the first thing uh I feel like back then it was more of like the 90s rap. So it's kind of like a rhyme that just rap. Yes. Like, <laughs> I, see. I don't even know how to explain that, but it was just like one punchline about, and it was cool. It was like fun rhymes. Yes. And and now it's more like I'm more uh, lyrical. Yeah, more I have a message. Like everything that I do pertains to a story. You, you actually can listen to my music and visualize being there. Um, yeah, I've definitely evolved a lot. And I feel like I sing more now and versus when I was younger, I rapped a lot. I, I think then too, like- Oh, I you mean, found your melody. You found your own sound. Right, exactly. I found my, my perfect sound. So I feel like- I a lot of artists go into this sometimes thinking that, oh, you know, I'm a rapper or I'm R&B or I'm soulful. But then at the end of the day, you end up coming up with your own combination, your own melodies, your own you. So like right. once you master your sound, you know, people will start recognizing you like, oh, that's not that mommy. You know, like they will know like, oh, that's her vibe. That's her thing. Like you don't sound anyone like anyone but yourself. Right. Um, so I think that's cool. I think that's really cool. And very um, actually the way you uh, described it is just like, you personally know that you've gone through life as a young artist into, you know, an adult, right? Doing this. So, you know, like you evolved in your music, you evolved as a person. Um, right. So if you were to have any collaborations, whether they're famous or not signed or not, like who are some people that you would love to collaborate, whether they're producers, artists, um, I don't know, any famous musician? <laughs> um, I mean, um, like, independent artist-wise, uh, the guy who pretty much, the first person to bring me into the studio, the first person to, like, actually show me that I can do more than just write music and, and you know, sing it to myself in my bedroom. <laughs> like, uh, he's evolved just as much as I've evolved, probably more. And he's like pretty popular in my city. So me and him are talking about uh, doing another song together. So I definitely want to link with him. Someone major, I like after really thinking hard about who I would want to uh, collab with like as a major artist, it probably would be Missy Elliott because- Oh my God, I love Missy <laughs> Elliott. Hold on one second, I'm gonna show you something, but. One second, I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna put you on the screen and I'm gonna come back with something. <laughs> okay, Kelly is just so hard. Like, I just feel like she's inspired me so much. Yeah. Like, it's only right. It's only right that she blessed me. So, Missy, wait, where are you? Um, Where are you from originally? In the meantime, I'm getting something brought over to me. Um, I'm from Ohio. Okay. And like, what? what about Missy Elliott? I love, I'm a big Missy Elliott fan. Fan, I can't even talk, fan. Um, I appreciate her style, her sound, her swag. And the fact that she never like gave in, like she was always herself. Right. And she's so creative. Like, I, like that's the reason why all my videos, all my music videos, I am the creative director because I, I don't want just a normal video. I want my video to be different. And even though my, like, I feel like my videos are dope, but I think that they could be so much better. First like of all, your, your music videos are like a movie. Okay. I was like, <laughs> hold on one second. Are oh, you going to bring it this way? I don't know. Cause we're talking about Missy Elliott. Wait, let go. I probably look crazy. Can you see her? I love it. I love <laughs> Wait, hold on. I don't know which way to go. Yes, where do you so, have a hang? This is by, I love Missy. So this was actually, um, here you go. Thank you. Um, so Mr. J, he's an artist. He actually um, gifted Missy Elliott to me. That's awesome. And he knew, like, I'm a big Missy Elliott fan for many, many reasons. I used to be into cho choreography. 
and making beats and dancing and stepping. And I, I, man, I've been doing this. So Missy is one of my people, like my inspirations, my, like somebody I would want to interview, want to work with. So I'm happy that you said that. <laughs> I love you. You're just the dopest. Definitely. And then your music video is just like a whole movie. Like I'm like, damn girl. Oh my God, there's a lot of flavor, a lot of heat, a lot, a little bit of everything going on in your music videos. <laughs> You making up drops April 7th? Ooh, that's just, I was trying to look at the calendar, but I forgot I moved it. So <laughs> that's definitely around the corner. What What is that, two weeks or so? Whatever, yeah. April 7th. Yeah, and um, you are on all digi major, major digital platforms. I see you on Spotify and um, Apple and all that. So that's pretty cool. Tell me about your experience of like being able to take that step in your career as a musician? Like, how did it feel to be able to tell people like, hey, you could stream me on these platforms now? I mean, in, in our reality, like, it feels great, especially uh, because uh, my videos are now on Tidal as well. So uh, me being blessed with the opportunity to put my videos there with also me being like being blessed enough to bless my videographer and the people who were in my video so it so not only my first video on title but it's their first video on title see that's and, why i fuck with you <laughs> i didn't want to curse i don't like cursing but oh my god i love you girl go ahead finish telling me it's not only yeah. your video it's their video too great because i feel like like I didn't do this by myself. Like this was a team effort. Like everybody put in, no matter from the smallest part to the hugest part. Like I'm not even everybody. the biggest. Yeah. So it, this was a whole thing, and it, it it just feels great to actually be able to like share my blessings with with the people that who helped me get here. I love that. You're definitely giving credit where it's due, um, and I I admire that in you. Like I, I'm just so. I mean, I'm already like liking your vibe and you as a person and, you know, mm -hmm. checking you out on social media. But like for you to say that, it takes like someone like myself who's like, yo, this girl's doing things with great intention, you know, with good intentions, not only for herself, but everyone. You know, I treat everybody equally on my team as well. So when I eat, we all eat. Or if we have to share a meal, we're going to share a meal. So right. for that, like recognition, it just like... I think you have you're on the right track as a musician, as an artist, as a businesswoman. Thank you. Thank I you. think that's dope. So tell me a little bit of um, Tata Mommy LLC. Is that only just for you as the artistry, or is that what is this money sent and all that? <laughs> so this is it's pretty much like my own label. So I've signed to myself. Uh, I I kind of partnered with another label, Illish Records, but I'm not signed under them. I'm I'm signed under myself, and it's kind of like we're we're a partnership with that. But yeah, so uh, I just, I feel like a lot of artists are like raped of their power, of, you know, their, their master, right. like all of that. So, right. so uh, I actually also have been blessed uh, with the opportunity to work with people who could, you know, boss me up on that level and get me to be, to, to be put in the uh, position to actually own my own label and if anyone was to want to sign me they would have to buy me out of myself oh wow see that that right there you're dropping gems without even knowing it and a lot of artists don't understand that you as one as an artist as a musician as a songwriter um as a creator you are your own business one so you should own yourself right i mean we put so much money in it being an artist like you you pay for so much, like you pay so many people. A lot of people don't realize that like artists really, like we have to pay for all of our own. And <laughs> this is like one of the only ways we really can go about getting paid is through our music or doing shows or things of that sort. So you kind of have to make sure you know your value. You have to make right. sure you know your worth. Right. You're so giving. Cause even right now, like you probably don't even realize that unconsciously you're giving out advice and gems and just being a dope person and a role model and just a perfect example. It's just no matter what you've been through on your journey since six, seven year old you till now into this creative artist, businesswoman, entrepreneur, and your women empowerment and all, like you just got it going on. So for you to be doing that 
and you're just doing it without even thinking, like naturally. Thank you got you. something great. You really do. Thank you so much. So I don't want nobody to take away your shine or, you know, don't ever feel that way either. So I'm pretty sure you know what you bring to the table. And you'll eat with your team. You will eat by yourself. You will bring the meal. It don't matter. So right. keep shining. Keep doing your thing. Let's get into a little bit of fun facts. Um, what would you share with us that people may not know about you? Like, do you love dancing? Do you love cooking? Or are you a nerd? Like, a fun fact. <laughs> Am I a nerd? I'm definitely, I'm definitely. Like <laughs> I'm a nerd. So, I mean, I'm allowed to ask. <laughs> Uh, I for sure love cooking. Uh, I'm definitely in the cannabis industry. Uh, I'm a very spiritual person. So I feel that. I feel that I am too. That's the yeah. But yeah, so um, I launch, like I'm in the process of launching a uh, hella product, but I've already launched one, the Smell Like Money line. And that right there is uh different essential oils, things that actually attract prosperity. So when you when you're wearing this, this scents like a unisex perfume slash cologne. So when you're wearing this, like you're attracting money. You just you set your goal, your your intentions, uh your and, and then you just I would like, definitely you know, buy that for sure. I'm very yeah. spiritual as well. So I could definitely tell you you're there. You're aligned and and you you may be um, grounded or you know how to get yourself grounded. Um, so I would definitely purchase that for sure. You know, I have yeah. my sage, I have my crystal, I have my Palo Santo. So I See? definitely would wear that, you know, yeah. abundantly and accepting income. <laughs> and then a shout out to my team because... Uh, the people that I go through that are my distributors, like they're my my like childhood friends, and they've actually launched their That's own business. Dope. Yeah, and their businesses are super successful. They're uh, female, so like it's all about women empowerment. All we do is push each other and grow, and like they're the only people that I work with with all my products for all of my businesses. To attract the law of attraction. It really works too. One of my friends, uh, she called me up and she was like, I just want to let you know that I put that on this morning. And she's in the cannabis industry also. And she uh, makes these gourmet cupcakes. Oh my God, they're amazing. Oh. But yeah, so she was like, I put this on. And then literally that day she got a call and she's now, uh, she now has investors and they're putting her products in 52 dispensaries. What? Yeah. Wow. Congratulations to her and you, because that's also your success, you know? Right. Um, and people don't realize that. And that's something, like, I'll never forget about you. Like, the way you just said, it's not only my music video that was, you know, uploaded. It's the videographer's video. It's everybody involved. And I will never forget that about you. You gained so much respect from me. It's crazy. It's ill. Like, I love it. I sure do. <laughs> okay. So if you could um, change, or maybe, I want to say change, maybe evolve the music industry. Because, you know, music always changes into um, an evolution, an era, a genre. You know, it went from battle rap to hip hop to, you know, or it kind of changes or where EDM comes in and there's a mixture of sound with pop and R&B, right? So how would you want your music to evolve the industry? Hmm. Do you want, I, I feel like, okay, you got the woman empowerment going on. You have the spiritual going on in which you're giving people the opportunity. So I feel like you're already doing it in a way. So that it gets a little tricky, right? Yeah, I feel like, like the biggest thing that I would really want to change in the industry is like making sure that everyone is more educated in what they're Ooh. doing. Because that's deep <laughs> where everyone is messing up on, like, even me starting off, like, I wasn't educated in no way, shape, or form. And, it's, and I mean, as my team slowly grew and slowly evolved, of course, we help each other, but yes, yes, yep, yeah. So, I, I just feel like I would want people, I would think that people should Absolutely. be more definitely. So, when you say I feel like we we're like meant to talk and we should have, I wish I met you a little sooner, but as you know, you meet people at the right time or when you're supposed to meet them. So I always tell people like, educate yourself, 
figure things out, you know, copyright your music, do your paperwork correctly with your engineers, your producers, you know, so credit could be given and things could be done correctly, you know, own your beats, own your music, own, you know, and right. not only that, but as yourself, you are signed to yourself. And they're going to have to, if somebody wants to sign you, they're going to have to buy out you from you. Like, <laughs> hey, there's no, like, there's no fuckery going on. Excuse my language. But. No, do your thing. No, absolutely. I know. And I, I personally, I'm trying not to curse. I'm trying. But it's just like, you got me. Like, I don't know. I'm amped. <laughs> I'm super excited. Like, I'm just like, wait, hold up. I finally have, you know, I talked to many people from beginners to expert. So you're just definitely up there for me. Um, and that's a great thing. You know, even if you were a beginner, I would vibe with you and rock with you and just like, keep you accountable like hey listen as you continue with your journey i want to bring you on and have you as a guest again anytime you hit your next milestone your next achievement even for you although i think you're up there already i want to talk to you again like i want to see what's going on with you when your music drops anything you want us to promote let me know like i'll share it like hell yeah like why not especially with you without thinking you're already sharing all these gems like if people were to go back and watch this video you're naturally just giving them freebies i respect I mean, that i mean i just love to see everybody win i feel like i'm the same way yeah i'm the same way you know it's cool because like all right we're talking about missy elliott and during the missy elliott she was winning Aaliyah was winning timberland was winning you know what i mean everybody was winning at the same like and it's just like they're part of a history in the music industry where they can talk about it. Jay Z and Nas, they're part of history. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They both were doing their thing. And although at one point, right, they're beefing, but they still are part of this history. And now today, you see them interacting. That's crazy. That's awesome. Like, yeah. That's what, that's what I that's what I picture when you say I want everybody to win. Yeah, I feel like there was there was a point in time, you know, like every artist, you know, every artist goes to their starving stage. And when oh, I yeah. moved like to Los Angeles, like of course that you know, I was low key a broke artist out there. And I just remember watching this video of Miss Yelly. It was like I don't know if it was a documentary or where you've even seen this from, but she was just talking about how her and Timberland when they first moved to Los Angeles, they were just like eating <laughs> rope. Mm -hmm. I was like like that that gave me, you know, I was like, wow, my life now so push it. Yep. Yep. Damn. Sometimes you saw that video at the right time. Right. And, you know, a I, lot of people don't know like what we what artists really like you're investing your own money, you're sacrificing your own money, whether you're doing getting it from a nine to five or having another side business, like it's hard. But you should have never give up. And right. you're a perfect example of that. Only people that don't win are the people that give up. See, ooh, see, I could talk to you forever. Can you stop? Like, <laughs> I could definitely talk to you forever. Well, is there anything else you'd like us to know or our viewers to know about you? Um, I know you got something can... dropping April I'm 7th. Like... Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, I was just saying, making sure that you guys check out the video April 7th. I think that video is going to be super dope. Yeah. Working with and I'm going to throw up your IG up there where they can find you. Yes, yes, for sure. <laughs> well, thank you so, so much. I feel like I could talk to you forever about your career as you as a person, any spiritual journey. Like, I bet we could talk about everything. Um, but one, I do respect and I do love what you're doing. So keep going. I would love to see, you know, what's next for you. And when April 7th comes, just send me a promo clip. I'll definitely share it. Um, on my personal IG, on um, our website, whatever. I got you, you know. Yeah, I love your vibe. I'm definitely going to oh, interact. the vibe is real. <laughs> well, thank you. you again. Thank you so, so much. Thank you.